Hey guys, Bert Kammerer here with SAB Heli Division and I just wanted to bring to your attention a small issue that I personally discovered recently and I notified SAB about. It has to do with boom clearance on the Goblin. Um, there's a couple of reports of boom strikes out there. I was at the uh, Vegas event um, last week and uh, I checked out a bunch of Goblins that were there with the help of a couple of people and I was basically looking to see what kind of distance or clearance um, the goblins that were in that event had between the tip of the blade and the boom. And I noticed a couple of discrepancies. Um, the actual clearance that you guys have to have on your goblin between the tip of the blade and the top of the boom is at least 145 millimeters. Um, so basically what I suggest you guys do is you take a ruler just uh, that you can use measuring millimeters and just basically make sure your blades are set at zero pitch and then what you do is you measure the distance between the top of the boom and the tip of the blade and you should be reading 145 millimeters um, if you're not reading 145 millimeters then there's a clearance issue and what we've discovered at SAB is that on some of the booms that came out of the very very first batch um, the incidence on this little metal plate that mounts uh, the boom into the helicopter it's a little bit off and you have to keep in mind that like 0.2 of a millimeter uh, angle on this plate pretty much turns into like 10 millimeters in the back or even more than that so um, what you do to fix it is actually quite easy if you measure your goblin uh, clearance between boom and blade and it's not at least 145 millimeters what you do is you take a little piece of tape um, I prefer like the 3M tape with the red backing because it's very very thin um, and what you do is you place it in the boom mount uh, that is on the helicopter side in the rear so basically you install the piece of uh, uh, tape and then you take an exacto knife you cut the tape to allow the nylon bolt to go right through it and then you go ahead and install your boom that should drop your boom clearance between the tip of the blade and the top of the boom enough to give you at least 145 millimeters or greater um, this is already noted by the factory this is being updated all future batches will have the proper incidence on the boom. This is not affecting every single goblin that's out there right now. It's only affecting a select few. Um, but we want to make sure that everybody's taken care of um, and that everybody knows what the clearance, clearance should be between the blades and the boom. Now, if you have 145 millimeters of clearance or greater and you've set up your head accordingly, like we explained in the manual, and you have not excessive dampening on the head and your blade grips are tight, where it takes a lot of effort to move them, there's absolutely no possible way that you can boom strike a goblin. I have deliberately tried to boom strike one and I have not been successful. So make sure that your clearance is right, your blades are tight, you have no excessive dampening on the head, you have to make sure that the, the blade grips are preloaded the way it says in the manual and all newer kits, the proper shimming is already in the head to allow for the proper um, preloading of the dampeners. So hope this was helpful and uh, see you guys at the next fun fly.